makeup looks a little bad and patchy in some places. I'm sorry. It's really, really hot outside. <laughs> and I'm sweating in my room, so I'm sorry. And this is the third time I've tried filming this video, so there is swatches on my hands, so forgive me. But I'm going to try to roll through these favorites because literally I've been taking forever to film this video. I have t 20 minutes. 20 minutes to film this but no mm -mm. so we're gonna try to film this video so the first favorite I have to talk about is the Too Faced hangover primer seriously been loving this primer it feels so good on my face it's nice and moisturizing there's no silicone in it so I feel like it doesn't make me oily um, I'd say if you're someone that has really oily skin I don't know that's a nice Corvette I don't know if this would be a good product for you like I, I, I don't know because I feel like this is for people that have more of like a drier skin um, but it's an amazing primer, it makes my skin feel amazing, and my foundation lasts forever, and my, uh, skin feel nice and moisturized, and it smells really good, it smells like coconuts, and I really like that. So next is the foundation I've been wearing, which is not actually a foundation, ooh, uh, foundation I've been wearing, which is not actually a foundation, it's actually a tinted moisturizer, this is the Le Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and it's amazing. Um, the reason why I'm not current, I don't wear any more foundations and I'm not wearing foundations anymore is because I have really dry skin and I'm very insecure about my dry skin and I feel like foundation just makes it show a lot more. But when it, ever since I've been wearing a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, um, my dry patches aren't showing up or anything. I'm using my blend, beauty blender and everything. It's just my dry patches aren't showing up and my skin looks really, really good. So, and I don't like wearing like foundations. I feel like all foundations are really heavy nowadays. So I just use a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer and it's working really good for me. And this is actually an illuminating one and it makes my skin look all nice and glowing. I really like that. And if I do use a BB cream, it is the, Ma oh my gosh, it's the Maybelline BB, BB cream. And it's just the original one. I, there is a bronzy one that I want to try, but I don't know. I don't know if I should spend money on it or not. I don't know. Okay, so the next products I'm going to talk about are actually my favorite bronzers right now. And this palette has been my life. I love it. I've been taking it everywhere with me. This is the Too Faced Little Book of Bronzers. And I just... Ooh, I love this so much. First off, all of this smells like chocolate. All of this has... Well, wait, does it? All of it has chocolate? This has been my life because I love bronzer. I love the way it looks in the summertime. It's really nice and glowy. I'm a white girl, so I need some color. But the favorite, my favorite bronzer I've been using to bronze up my face and contour my face or slim down my face is this milk chocolate bronzer because it's a nice light color. It's not gonna make you look like you have giant brown streaks, which I know right now I look like I got giant brown streaks. But it's because my foundation and everything is oxidized because I've taken three times to film this video and it's super hot outside, so. I promise when it's first applied, it looks beautiful. So, um, it looks really good. I really like it. And it's just a nice, nice, nice bronzer. And I really like it. And for my blush, and uh, for my blush, I've been using Pink Leopard and also Snow Bunny and Sun Bunny. Those are the two, uh, there, those are the three that I've been using the most that I really, really enjoy. So, this has definitely been my favorite bronzer and blush palette. So for eyes, I have been using this right here, and I have a little story to actually tell you guys about how I got this. So, <clears throat> at my school, we use mud, and we're just like a mud affiliate school. So they were having a competition going around that was called Bring on the Spotlight Competition, and I made a video on why I would love to go work with mud at the Miss Teen USA and Miss USA pageants. Um, because Mud is actually the brand that works with that um, pageant, and we had a, I had the opportunity the opportunity to make a video submission and say why you would like to. So I'm actually gonna have the video listed down below in this description if you'd like to click on it and see what I did. Um, I got runner up. Uh, so if the person wasn't the person that actually went ahead of me wasn't able to perform, then I am. Um, I was going to be the one that gets to go. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go, but I'm super happy and blessed to have even the opportunity to be chosen runner-up because that means, I mean, second best isn't the best, no, but it is the best to me. I think that's awesome for a little small town girl who's always chased this makeup dream and everybody said, that's stupid, makeup's stupid, it's just superficial and all that stuff. It's really not. It's my passion and I love it and I love making people feel beautiful and confident and love the features that they already have and not hide them. So they sent me this right here to say thank you for your submission and 
I say thank you for this because this is awesome. This palette is like worth $120, I think. Please send this to me and I absolutely love it. I've used every single color and I really, really like it. But I have to say, my favorites that I wear every single day. So the favorite, my favorite color that I've been using is actually this color right here. And this color is called Sedona. And this color really compares to one color in my MAC palette. Except this one's just a little bit more orangey, which I really, really like. Because I love orangey eyeshadows. Oh my god. <laughs> I love orangey eyeshadows. It's so pretty. And I just love it. It's an amazing palette. And I love it. And thank you so much, Sean, for sending this to me and giving me the opportunity to be runner-up. I love this product right here just because it makes my face so glowy and it probably looks not natural but I don't care because I love it. I'm not a natural person, let's be honest. So this is Becca Highlighter in Opal and I just love it so much. Everybody that I talk to about this and I make them swatch it, they love it too. Um, this is a very expensive highlighter but it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. It's way better than MAC Soft and Gentle. It's, it's just it's so glowy and it captures the light beautifully and it makes my cheeks look like I just got out of the ocean and I love that. So that is my favorite highlighter and I definitely recommend that you go get it. So for lip products, this has been literally my favorite lipstick ever. <laughs> this is the Kat Von D lips, liquid lipstick in Loida. And this is just a gorgeous color. This product has been sold out at all three of my Sephora's in my city. I've been looking everywhere for this product it's always been sold out. So one day I was at Sephora exchanging the Makeup Forever bronzer. I hated it. Um, exchanging that Makeup Forever bronzer. Maybe I used it wrong, but it was just way too natural for me. I was like, look like I got nothing on my face. What the hell? So I exchanged it for this and I saw it in the Kat Von D area. And I was like, ooh, I'm grabbing it. So I got it. And I'm super happy I got it because everybody gives me compliments when I'm wearing this lipstick. Which, I mean, it's really nice. I like that. Things I like compliments. Um, it's a really good lipstick and it's a nice matte lipstick so if you kiss somebody it's not gonna come off and it's really nice and I really like it and yeah. Last makeup product is this baby right here and MAC came out with like a limited edition fragranted fix plus which I had no idea they were doing until they released it so I was pretty excited so this is MAC fix plus spritzer spray in refresher no, okay. This is Max Fix Plus spray in cucumber, and I love it. I wanted the rose clay, uh, the rose clay. I wanted the rose smell tint rose. I wanted the rose one, and then I also wanted the coconut one. But the Denver Max store was sold out, so I just got the cucumber one, and that was the only one available. So I bought it because I wanted some Fix Plus, and I got some, and I also got a discount because I'm a Mac Pro student, so. I liked it. I love it so much. It smells so good. It looks like I've barely used anything, but I've used so much of this, and I have used it four times today because it is so hot outside. And then last, like, body product I have is the True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I love this stuff. Obviously, I love this stuff. <laughs> I put this stuff all over my body every single day, and it makes my skin so soft. I have no dry flakes. Like I said, I have really dry skin because I'm diabetic, so it's a really, it, I have a really hard time keeping moisture on my body and in my skin and all that stuff. I drink so much water and even all the water that I drink doesn't even hydrate my skin at all. So I have to use a really deep conditioning uh, lotion, which is expensive, but uh, a girl's gonna love her skin and stuff. But I love this, it makes my skin so soft and it smells really good. It smells like shea butter and vanilla, which is really nice. So this is my favorite lotion currently. And then for the rest of my favorites, I have music favorites, and I have just one favorite, favorite song currently, and that is Here by Alicia Cara, or Sierra, I don't know, but her name's Alicia, the song's here, I have it linked in the description down below. It is an amazing song, and it's literally me. That song is me. If you've ever wondered how does Scarlett think about parties and drinking and smoking, that's, that's my song. Um, I just really like it because someone, finally somebody that's a teenager, somebody, because I maybe someone's already done it before, but someone's finally said something about it's okay not to go to parties, it's okay not to fit in, it's okay not to want to go do that stuff, and you don't have to be cool to do it, and you know, talk, it's just, it's different, and I love it. She's someone that wants to change the world, I'm someone that wants to change the world. Um, I don't go to parties, a lot of people know this. <laughs> 
I go to parties occasionally, but I only do it to make people happy. It's not on my willing. Um, I do go to the club to dance, but I'm starting to see that I don't even like doing that either because there's no good clubs where I live for my age. So, like, there's no hip hop or there's no, like, you know, people want to, like, elect, there's no electric music. It's all country and I don't do country music. I'm, a, I'm I don't do, I don't do country music. Sam Hutt, that's about it. So, um, I don't know. I don't party and I don't have any shame in saying that. And the song's just, it's really good. You need to listen to it. She's just saying, I'm here because my friends are here. I don't really give a shit about you. You don't give a shit about me, so why should I even be here? I should just be in my room chilling or with my friends who actually care about me and talk about things and listen to good ass music that has a freaking message. And I, I love that kind of stuff because I'm that kind of person. I like music with a message, a good message that's gonna feed the young minds of our future. It's gonna mold them into good people, not shitty people like we have today. That's what I like. I want to be a change in the world. And some people are like, Scarlett, you're not going to be able to change the world. Well, I'm going to die trying, I guess. Because I want to change the world. I want to change someone's life. I want to change the nation. My one voice is all it takes. So I'm going to do it. And that song just kind of makes me feel empowered and good and happy. I'm not the only one that doesn't like to party and have the exact same thoughts when I'm at a party. Like, why the fuck am I here? Why am I here? So... It's a really good song. I highly recommend that you listen to it. And yeah, that is it for my viewers' video. I really hope you guys have a great July and had a great 4th of July and was safe and everything. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.